Good morning to you. I often hear, how would I take care of all that land? And the answer is simple. We're gonna talk about that today and I will share with you my secret sauce. I'll also share some farm living tips and tricks with you. You and I can go for a ride with the dogs and then stay tuned to the end. You and I will fly up in the drone and you can see what it looks like in our part of the world, right here in Kentucky. You know I typically show properties, but when inventory's low, I thought I might do some what it's like to live in the country, lifestyle type videos. But I need your opinion. Would you be okay with that? If I peppered some of those videos in between, you know, like how we live. You know we make our own wine and we brew our own beer. If you want that, I'll do some videos on all that coming up. Are you okay with that? If you are, like and subscribe so you don't miss one show. And yes, I read all your comments. Drop the comments below. I try to answer all your questions too, so fire away. Let's get it. Good morning, you know I love land. I love the country. I love Kentucky. I hear it all the time. Oh, I don't want that much land. It's too much to take care of. Well, I do want this much land and I don't have to worry about taking care of it. When I was a young man, when I was a young man, when I was a boy, I'm sort of a, not even a young man yet. Oh, are you talking about here or are you talking about here? When I was a boy, maybe 11, 12 years old, I thought, man, if I could have a place, if I could have 100 acres, I'd put the house in the middle and I'd build my own cabin, build my own furniture and everything. And I'd put a fence around it and it'd be like, keep out. I don't like people. I want to have friends. I want to have friends over. So I just wanted privacy. I had all these great ideas, but I didn't have the money. And I figured, well, it's too much work and the equipment costs too much and everything. You don't have to do that. You have to know people, right? Well, they say your network is your net worth. Well, I know a superhero. And he lives down the road and his superpower is farming he's got all the equipment he's got all the knowledge he loves it he perhaps does not have the ability well actually our farm guy has plenty of land he just loves to farm so he wants more if you're making a profit with 100 acres you can make a profit with 200 acres or 300 acres but he's got a ton of land and he farms other people's land so we're able to rent him the land and i don't have to do anything because i am the laziest guy you know. I work hard, I come home, I don't wanna to have to jump on a tractor, that's not my jam. Our superhero friend, he loves farming. He loves the smell of the cows, the smell of the grass, the smell of the morning dew, the birds. You can hear the birds chirping. He loves all this stuff. I get it, so do we. But I get to watch it, I get to hear it, I get to smell it, and I don't have to do all the work. And I don't care if fuel goes up to $5.50 a gallon. I don't care if cattle just drops down to 10 cents a pound. It's not my concern. Now, I don't make the big money. In other words, if I'm buying a cow for 100 bucks and I'm raising it and selling it for 800 bucks, I don't make that money. But I might make 30 or 40 bucks. That's fine. I don't have to do anything. Can you buy a farm with 100 acres or 50 acres and make a living off of it? He might be able to, but I can't. But I get a little bit of rent income. And that's fine. I want land because I want privacy and beauty and a place to entertain and a place for my kids to come home to. I've got a business, so I've got other income. It's not a problem, but this is his income. So why not give him what he needs to be more successful? He gives me what I need to be more successful. I don't know if any of this is making sense. I got my buddies here. I hope the audio is okay. Remember I told you I ordered a new microphone? Well, it's coming finally. It's only been since October. It's uh, almost June today. So, that's okay. Supply chain. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here to tell you about how our lifestyle is. Oh, let's go over here. I'll show you some beautiful land. What's going on, bud? Hey, how about a kiss? How about a kiss? Romeo, you want a kiss? No, you don't want a kiss. This is the big granddaddy oak tree right here. Let me get out. Okay, let's get out. There we go. Oh my gosh. You about broke my legs, you crazy cats. Go ahead. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. We are so blessed to have doggies that love each other. Right? <laughs> I have to.
to assume that I've talked to you about our good friend Mitzi. She's just the most knowledgeable lady you've ever met. She was on her dad's lap driving bulldozers when she was probably five or six years old. And she is badass. I'll tell you, you want a, a woman that's strong, you want to learn from someone, everything about the country, hunting, all that stuff, or even raising dogs. She raises some pretty good dogs, I guess, doesn't she? We sure think so. We think the world of Mitzi. She told me a great secret. She planted about 30,000 trees over on her property. If you'd like to see a video of Mitzi, drop a comment here below, because I don't want to give you something you don't want to see. So she plants 30,000 trees 30 years ago. Well, now they're humongous. So I said to her, where do you get your trees? She said, here, I'm gonna tell you where the greatest seeds are. Don't buy acorns somewhere. Just drive along the road until you see a big grandpa tree. That big grandpa tree has been through storms, lightning, drought. I mean, this tree is at least 200 years old. It is a monster. Oh, jeez. She's about breaking my I don't know, can you see that, how big that is? Now I'm a big old freaking horse. And look at the size of that tree. This guy's been through everything. In fact, I'll show you the scar. Look at this scar here. It goes all the way up. And that's where it's been struck by lightning, I guarantee you. This is where you get your acorns. These are the acorns you plant. Period. End of story. Makes perfect sense to me. All right, guys. Come on, hop up. Come on. These dogs, they don't care where you're going. They just want to go with you. So the, back to the industry standard thing. You can afford the land or you can afford the equipment, but it's hard to afford both and make all the payments. And then, of course, you got a lot of time. So my mantra has always been, let's buy the land. That's going to go up in value. Let somebody else buy the equipment. They can afford that. I can afford this. There you go. Now you got the secret. You got my secret sauce. Battery's dying on my action camera. Loved the action camera, bought it because I figured, well, you know, I'm kind of an action kind of guy. To us, this is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know what your thoughts are. In this part of Kentucky, we've got tons of open grazing land, fields, and then we have some woods too. Now, we don't have much woods. We, I would say we've got maybe 5% woods, but that's enough to make it beautiful. We're just hanging out, we're buzzing around with the old wheeler and uh, the two old dogs. 
don't sit down in the mud, you ding dong. What do you say, boys? We start heading back? They just want to play in the mud. That's one bad thing about labs. Oh, no, don't lay down in it. Oh, oh serious? Oh. Oh, no, not again. You didn't really do that, did you? Yes, you did. Well, when they're hot. Do, 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 do. Oh, and it smells like cow poop. Nothing better. A cow poop bath. <laughs> oh, key roast, man. All right, well, guess who's not riding in the wheeler on the way back? It's not that they were bad dogs. They were doing what dogs do, especially labs. Just go right to the water, sit down in the mud. Oh, my gosh. Safety is going to kill me. Say you think about me because I'm starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world. I'm here and I'm waiting, but I know I can't say that. We didn't end it for good reasons, still I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon going to be my scattered thoughts and ramblings about what you need to know before you come and buy a big piece of property. First of all, it's really not that daunting. That might be a good word. Like, how am I going to take care of all that land and everything? I'm going to take care of the land. Someone else will take care of it for you. You can just rent it out to them. And then you can just ride around on your wheeler or exercise your dog. I wish, you could. I wish the dogs would exercise me. I guess grandma always said, if your dog's too fat, you're not getting enough exercise. Grandma knew a lot of things. These boys are going to sleep well tonight. Did you know that dogs were made to work? That's why they get so antsy. you got to run them. Taking them for walks is just not so they can poop in somebody else's yard. Although that's a very good benefit. You have to think about all the benefits. Now we'll see how much of that mud has actually come off. Mojo's got the shorter hair. He dries in a blink. Romeo, not so much. He's got longer hair. It's really thick. And he won't dry for a week. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. And they love to dart back and forth in front of the wheeler. Drives me a little bit crazy.
Well, I, I like people, so I want to have friends. And oh, there's bird poop up there.